Hello my friends, I'm Brett Larkin. Welcome back to my channel. Huge welcome if you're new. I post free yoga classes here on YouTube at least twice a week, so I'd love it if you would join the family and subscribe. And if you're watching this video, I'm guessing you're curious about Kundalini Yoga. At the beginning of every single Kundalini Yoga class, you tune in. You do this to the Adi Mantra, which is a very specific chant that I'm gonna break down for you in this video. The full mantra, and you chant this three times at the beginning of every Kundalini Yoga class, is Ong, O-N-G, Namo, Guru Dev, Namo. And I'll have it right here on the screen for you to see. I was doing Kundalini Yoga for years before anyone ever really explained what this meant or how to do it properly. Ong, that first word, O-N-G, means infinite creative energy. And you want to say it, this is really important, with the tongue hitting the roof of the mouth, the upper palate of the mouth. Ong. So you can't see inside my mouth, but my tongue is hitting up onto the roof of my mouth. Ong. Doing it in that way is going to stimulate the hypothalamus, the pineal, and then the pituitary gland, the space right between and above your eyebrows. Think of it a little bit back from there. It's going to cause that pituitary to secrete, which is exactly what you want to do in Kundalini Yoga. When you press the tongue to the upper palate, it's called, of the mouth like that, and cause the pituitary to secrete, it's also gonna bring the energy towards the frontal brain. So the back of the brain is the more reptilian brain where we're reactive, uh, angry, we have all those kind of base emotions. And in Kundalini Yoga, you're trying to raise your vibration. So by chanting Om correctly, striking the tongue at the top of the mouth, you're pulling the energy forward into the front of the brain. Ong, ong. And when you chant it, visualize energy at your third eye center. And then next word, namo, means I bow to. It has this reverence to it. And namo, namo, you want to think of coming from anahat, the fourth chakra. So ong, you're bringing your attention here. Namo, you want to bring your attention, visualize maybe light or radiance coming from the heart center. That third word, guru, means remover of darkness. Gu means dark, ru means light. So guru is the remover of darkness. Also, sometimes this is translated to mean the teacher, right? But really guru is anything that illuminates, that takes you out of a space of darkness and helps you come into the light. And guru, you also want to try to have that on the R, the tongue hitting the upper palate so we can stimulate that pituitary again, right? So guru, not guru. And last word, dev, means universal consciousness or divine wisdom, or you could even translate it as God if you're religious. It's a higher power. And then namo, again, is coming from the heart center. So bringing all these words together, there are so many different ways, interpretations, that you can translate this. You could say this whole mantra taken together maybe means, I bow, I bow down to the universal wisdom, this higher power that exists within me and exists within all beings. You could also think of it more as, I honor the divine within myself, that I am connected to a higher plane to that which made me. Another translation I've heard that I really like is that I am making myself receptive. I am making myself a vehicle for higher consciousness transformation to come through me that also already exists within me. I am receptive to that. And that's a really nice translation when you put this in the context of the beginning of a class. So now that we've covered the words and their meanings, what you do at the beginning of class as part of the tune-in, right, is you rub your palms together. And this is to awaken the 40,000 nadis, nerve endings in the palms. And this also symbolizes union, right? Bringing together the left and right hemisphere of the brain, parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system, bringing together the head and the heart. So it's like you're reconciling all the different parts of yourself when you bring the palms together. And then something that I was doing for years was like, tuning in with my elbows all droopy, uh, sort of down here. No, you want the elbows flared wide and you wanna press the thumb into the sternal notch, right? So there's this connection between thumb and breastbone and then you lift the chest, 
elbows flared wide, palms pressing into one another and relax the shoulders, relax the shoulders. And then I'm gonna suggest if you're new, which you probably are if you're watching this video, to do the tune in in a breath and a half. So you're gonna take a deep inhale. Om Namo. And then a half breath in. Guru Dev Namo. So you chant that three times. So instead of trying to do the whole chant in one long out breath, you kind of break it up like that. And that really helped me when I was starting out. Let's try it once more together. Palms press, deep breath in. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Awesome. So if you repeat that three times, you've tuned in. And the last little tip I'll give you here before we part ways is that after you do that three times, draw the breath up into the body, pull your pelvic floor away from the mat, pull the navel in and suspend the breath a little bit right after you finish, suspend the breath. So that means you hold the breath, but without any strain. So only holding it as long as is comfortable for you and then roll your eyes up into that third eye center and then exhale and relax and put your hands down in your lap. I really hope you've enjoyed this breakdown. Leave me any questions or comments you have down below this video. Try a tune in with me now in one of my many free Kundalini yoga classes here on YouTube. Tuning in is so important because it signifies the beginning of our practice, helps us separate our yoga time from all the rest of the time that's busy throughout our day. It also connects us to the golden chain, it's called, of teachers and yoga students who've come before us. I hope to see you on the mat and I'm sending you so much love. From my heart to yours, namaste.